Hi, my name is Fatima Ponce. And I'm Stephanie Munoz. And I'm Sarah Garcia. We're going to be presenting about COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy. Vaccine hesitancy is when people take long to accept the opportunity to get vaccinated or refuse uh, getting vaccinated altogether. What our presentation is going to be consisting of is our introduction where we're going to be stating our research question and our main focus, our background information, how did it all start, and how did we get to where we are, our methods, how did we get the inf our information for our research. Our research question is why are people hesitant of getting the COVID-19 vaccine? Our main um, points are the speed of production components and side effects. People started getting suspicious of the speed of, of the development of the vaccine because usually when a vaccine is being developed, it takes two to three years to be developed properly and safely. The components of the vaccine um, made people grow fearful because they didn't know what the vaccine it was composed of. And many people had worries about um, whether the components were against or um, for their, their religious or personal beliefs. The side effects started making people doubtful because they weren't sure what it would cause, what it would cause in their bodies, considering that all bodies are different. Evolution of vaccine hesitancy. As we can see, less Americans were willing to get the vaccine um, from a survey done in early June and August to early October. The US public, right when the pandemic started, 65% of them were willing to get the vaccine, whereas in early October, it decreased to 58%. As we can, we can also see the percentages going down in the white American population as well as in the African American population. About the disease, the virus started late December 2019 in China and spread when people that were in contact with the virus traveled back to their countries. Since it was presumed to be an airborne disease, it started spreading rapidly by being in close contact with the person that was infected. Many of these individuals weren't aware they were infected because symptoms um, take up to 10 days to start showing. It has spread globally by now and there was no way to detect it until scientists started to develop a test to determine if the person had coronavirus. Um, cases were of high numbers and scientists started to work on a vaccine that would be effective and safe for the people. Evolution of cases. In the month of November, the cases grew unexpectedly and, and were approximately 200,000 were recorded as shown on the graph. So our methods is our research team used articles, studies, and surveys done across the United States. So that helped us with the slides and also including with the table. The articles we mainly focused on was information regarding the vaccines as what ingredients were in the vaccines and also as well as the participants, why they were hesitant and the speed of the production and some side effects that the participants were having with the vaccine. And the articles we used were Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institute of Health, as well as um, more research needs to be conducted and we will continue next semester. We would like to give a special thanks to our faculty mentor, Dr. Manuel Gonzalez, as well as our student mentor, Javier Villa Gomez. We would also like to thank Dr. Nora Garza, Ms. Aguero, and Ms. Solis for giving us the opportunity of participating in undergraduate research. Thank you.